G'day folks. Well, I was dismantling and scrapping my uh, fire bin trolley, which was excessively overcomplicated for what it was. I'm going to build a nice new one. Uh, I found this tucked inside one of the drawers underneath. Uh, the chassis was an old photocopier chassis that I've been storing stuff in, and I must have left the hard drive in there at one stage, <laughs> because this is what's left of it. Looks like mostly radiant heat damage, like it hasn't... It's burnt the PCB, it was sitting like that, upright, or bottom up. So the PCB's taken a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, same with the alloy casing, but I can still see stickers and things on there which are intact. You can even almost read the serial number on it. Uh, likewise, heat from underneath, when fire was burning underneath the stand. But you can still see parts of the sticker. It looks like an 80 to 100 gigabyte Seagate drive. Uh, I've got dozens of these, so it's no loss at all, but chances are if it was in that stand of junk, it was probably junk anyway. It's probably a waiting autopsy. So instead we have what you'd call a, probably a recovered fire victim. Not total incineration, but partial. I just want to see what the disc platter looks like. I know heat will kill the magnetic field on the disc platter and ruin any data, but I'm just curious as to how hot this thing got. Like it's not it's tarnished and the plastic labels burnt off it but it's not that bad this side's the worst because you can see most of the uh, epoxy is burnt out of the fiberglass PCB so let's go grab a screwdriver and I'll open it up let's have a look at it I did wash a lot of dirt off it was covered in mud so I, I have washed it so there might be water inside but we'll see if it's still sealed if the washing didn't get in there that'd be a good sign Okay, well the board separated okay. It was very well it adhered to the casing. You can see it's just glued itself on so I had to pry it off. Uh, the header for the uh, read-write head and the uh, voice coil is, <laughs> is just cemented into the casing. So that's that part done. The motor, well I think the motor's pretty cooked. We'll see if it still spins. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I've burnt hard drives before, but I usually just burn them to the point where there's just nothing left. So, yeah, these screws are very loose until they've gotten hot and discoloured. Well, I think it'd be safe to say the magnetic field and data on that disc is unrecoverable. <laughs> that got a lot hotter than it looks. Just because the plastic labels and barcode are intact, it doesn't mean it didn't get really hot, especially up this end here. Plastic from the... Uh, terminal blocks gone. Um, some of that should have been ribbon cable. The weather's going nuts out there but yeah there's the ribbon cable. Um, yeah the whole lot's just turned into one gooey mess. But look at the discs. It's almost like smoke soot residue, smoke residue. It sort of moves. You can see underneath the head, head arm has collapsed. The plastic in there is melted and the whole lot's been probably been pulled down by the magnet. And there's water in here too from me washing it down. But that's a very stiff motor. There's a little throw out arm, the centrifugal uh, lock that stops the head from moving when, unless the disc's moving. Yeah, she got a little hotter than I thought. Just because the label's intact doesn't mean it wasn't badly burnt. Well, that's fascinating. Nice little pearlescent colour on the disc. <laughs> I'd say data completely unrecoverable. There's only one disc in there and it's, well, cooked. End of that one. Thanks for watching, that was interesting.